Hi, it's me again for the second part of this model. We have seen the most richest tool to fully describe uh, the dispersion of our variable, the histogram. But most of the times we need to synthesize, to summarize the histogram with the simple statistics. Imagine this situation. Imagine a nice dish recipe. All vegetables, spices, ingredients, the sauce, the sequence and the time to process them, to cook them. But if you go to a restaurant, looking to a menu, the last thing you hope to see in the menu are the recipes of the dishes. We expect to see a very short summary of the dish characteristics. Preferentially, it's something that makes him to differentiate from the other dishes in order to help you to decide to choose. We saw the most rich way to describe set of data, the histogram. That, that is what we are going to talk about. Some statistics that summarize the histogram behavior, the mean, variance, quartiles, etc. And it's important, at the same time, represent the main parts of physical phenomena from where the data comes from. Today we'll talk about the way to summarize our data through measures of center, location and spread. Let us come back to the contaminated site of previous model. Uh, we took uh, from the wells, we took regular samples, analyzed the porosity, permeability and also the contaminant concentration. This is the raw data coming from the sampling campaign, the coordinates and the properties. We took the properties and we built the histogram of porosity, also the histogram of PB or contaminant concentration. But now we want to summarize them in measures of center, measures of location and measures of spread. Let's start by the, measure, the measures of center, the mean. Mean normally refers to arithmetic average is the sum of all values divided by the number of samples. Take this small set of values. You, the mean is just the sum, which is 132, divided by 6, the mean is 22. Now, if we interpret the set of values by indexed variable zi, z of 1 is 10, z of 2 is 25, and so on, and this is the symbolic representation, the mathematical representation of the mean. Now let's see the let let's see another measure of center, the medium. The medium is the middle value. Exactly, is the value corresponding to a cumulative frequency of fifty percent. Let us take this small set of values, and the medium is exactly the value that divide this well, the, the, this uh, this set of samples in two equal parts. Let's run ordering. So we have 10, 12, until the maximum value 42. The medium is the value that divided this set in two parts, equal parts. As we have six values, the medium or middle value must be found by the mean of those two candidates. In this case, the medium is 20. Okay, this is the representation of the medium and the mean of an asymmetric, non-symmetric distribution, ISQ distribution. Now let's see measures of location, the quartiles. As you see, the medium divided our the set of data, given set of data, in two equal parts. In this case, the median is 27.5. Now the quartiles are the three points that divide the data set in four equal groups, each group comprising a quarter of the data. There are several methods to calculate the quartiles for discrete set of data. But uh, we can say that the first quartile is the medium of the first half and the third quartile is the medium of the second half. The <clears throat> but anyway, with a large set of data, the difference between the methods to calculate quartiles tend to be insignificant. So in short, we say that the first quartile corresponds to a cumulative frequency of 25%, the third correspond to a cumulative frequency of 
and the medium is equal to the second quartile. Now let's see the measures of location, other measures of location. The minimum value of a set of values, the maximum values correspond to a cumulative frequency of 100%, and also the quantiles. Quantiles means that it's, it's exactly the Z value correspond to a cumulative frequency of, on, of P percent. Let's take the, those, this set of data small set of data and these are the, the quantiles for example 0.2 quantile is the number 12 0.6 quantile is 25 and so on so this is the a simplified version of representing the dispersion of data with a box plot whisker diagram or simply a box plot this is just, this is just a box by, uh, bounded by the first and third quartile with the medium. The two whiskers above and behind the box goes until the maximum and the minimum. Now we'll see how the values are spread around the mean through the measures of spread. More dispersed, less dispersed around the mean. Now we start by the variance and standard deviation. Let us consider two sets of data, A and B. They both have the same mean, 75, but we can easily see that uh, one is more dispersed around the mean than the other one. The so let's, uh, let's start by calculating the deviations between each value and the respective mean. For example, those deviations and the variance, if we, sorry, if we square those deviations, yeah, the variance is no else than the mean of the square of those deviations. And the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Now let's see another measure of spread. Interquartile range. Interquartile range is the difference between third quartile and first quartile. Let's consider the two distributions here, the two, the two, the, the two histograms with the first quartile and the, the third quartile represented. And the interquartile range, the differences are represented here and you can measure the difference in spread between those two distributions. The larger is the interquartile range, the more dispersed is the set of data. Now let's see the now the sensitivity to extreme values. Let's see this uh, this distribution here, and for example, let's take out those four the four highest values of this distribution, and you obtain this one. Now let's look at the the statistics. For example, the variance and the mean of those two two sets of data. One of them has 270 samples and the other one with less, the four samples that we took out. The variance, as you can see, decreased a lot. They just passed almost to 33% of the original value. The same, identically to the mean, decreased a little bit less, but shows, shows uh, <coughs> some sensitivity to the extreme values. Now let's calculate, let's calculate, let's see the median, the first quartile and the third quartile. The, and as it is easily to see that uh, those values almost do not change from one set to another. We can say that in presence of ice cube distribution, these statistics are more robust, less sensitive to extreme values. And we'll see later how much important is the robustness of these statistics when you analyze the data and the special, at special location.